The anti-healing system is an important feature on many ships, especially larger ones like container vessels, Ruro ships, ferries, or cruise ships. It plays a key role in maintaining stability and safety during various operations. Purpose of the anti-healing system The main purpose is to counteract or reduce the healing of a ship. Healing can occur due to uneven loading and loading especially with cranes on one side, sharp turns or maneuvers, wind pressure on one side, weight transfer on board. Excessive heal can compromise safety effect on board operations or even lead to capsizing in extreme cases. The anti-healing system helps keep the ship as upright as possible during these situations. How it works? The system usually works using ballast water tanks located on port and starboard sides of the ship. Here's the typical process. 1. Sensors. Controllers monitor heel angle. An inclinometer or gyro sensor detects the angle and direction of heel. This data is sent to a control system automated or semi-automated. 2. Water transfer between tanks. Pumps or air blower systems quickly transfer seawater from one side of the ship to the other. For example, if the ship heels to starboard, water is pumped from starboard to port to balance it. 3. Real-time correction. The process is fast. It's often a matter of seconds to minutes. Modern systems are fully automated and respond in real time. 4. Manual override. There's usually a manual control option for the crew in case the automatic system needs intervention. Types of anti-healing systems. 1. Pump type system. Uses centrifugal or submersible pumps. Quick response suitable for operational healing like crane loading. 2. Air blowing system. Uses compressed air to push water from one tank to another. Often quieter and needs less maintenance. 3. Healing tanks with transfer lines. In some older ships, simpler gravity-fed systems are used with valves, though slower and less precise. Benefits. Improved operational safety. Enhanced comfort for crew and passengers. Prevention of structural stress. Compliance with IMO safety standards.